Once upon a time, it was the dream of some in Boston to have the city host the 2024 Summer Olympics, but that plan was abandoned and Paris stepped in. It would have been a dream or a nightmare, right? Today, police in Paris raided the headquarters of the games as part of a corruption investigation. Mm -hmm. And as WBZ political analyst John Keller shows us tonight, Boston should consider itself lucky right now. We dodged a bullet, and it's a credit to the people of Massachusetts for being smart to know we should dodge it. Yes, we dodged a bullet, all right, starting with the stench of kickback and corruption that seems to follow the games and has now settled over Paris. Chris Dempsey was a co-founder of the No Boston Olympics Group and co-author of a book by the same name. There are billions and billions of public dollars, and they have to be spent quickly to try to meet that artificial timeline of the games. That's what we were so concerned about when we started No Boston Olympics. No games! A major objection here was the multi-billion dollar cost of a Boston Olympics, which was consistently underestimated by its organizers. Estimates are the Paris games are running more than a billion over budget, with more than a year to go. Kel surprise. I am wicked excited and Boston's wicked excited. <laughs> and consider what's happened since Boston's brush with Olympic disaster. COVID, inflation, global economic turmoil. It oh, turns out then-Governor Charlie Baker and other elected officials dodged a bullet, too. Imagine if instead he had to be focused on cost overruns at an Olympic stadium. And that was his item at the top of his agenda rather than trying to keep people safe. It would have been an absolute calamity. Massachusetts taxpayers would have been stuck with 10 to 20 billion dollars of debt. That is a really bad hangover to have with us for the next 20 years following the Olympics. Hmm. And who really wanted this? I got to say, I actually thought it was, I thought maybe this would be the one time they would actually fix our transportation yeah. because we would need to, but... Anyway, what do, you think, what do you think the moral of the story is? Well, first of all, is that you in one of those idiotic mascots? It might have been. They got? <laughs> Maybe it might have been. <laughs> might the, have been. The moral of the story is beware of wealthy grandstanders and bureaucrats mm. promising all sorts of profit from a sketchy investment they want you to put up the money for, yeah. not themselves. French President Emmanuel Macron's role as champion of a costly boondoggle that may be riddled with corruption not really a good look, David. Yeah. And one other thing, uh, something tells me Governor Maura Healey is very glad she won't be forced to sit there and smile as the Russian athletes parade yeah. into the Boston Olympic Stadium next summer. I will say this, you mentioned boondoggles. Yeah. We're pretty good at boondoggles around here, so, you know. This is one I, I could live without, and I'm glad to live without it. All right, I'm going to put my hand down now. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. John, thank you so much. You're forgiven. Paula and Eric, over to you.